Greetings and welcome to my Let's Play series. Today's episode is episode 43, and we will be working on the processing of the items that come out of the Void Resource Miner. So, let's just jump right into it. So, what I'm going to want to do is take this Ender Chest that we have here, and be able to take all these items out. Keep the ones we want to keep, destroy the ones we want to destroy. Like, I don't really know what we're going to do with all this ice besides make water. But we really only need one type of ice to do that. So we have tons of different types of ice. I think we're just going to pick standard ice and then just let the rest be sucked into the void. So, plus we need some crafters to take care of the dirt and the cobblestone and even the nether rack. So let's make a few things and get started from there. Let's start with the crafters. We're going to need at least three, if I spelled it right. Okay, so let's see. We're going to make probably the tier 3 ones. So we're going to need at least, we'll make a stack of that. We'll grab, we'll grab four of those. That'll give us plenty of sticks. Might as well make 32 of those. It won't hurt nothing. So let's start with the basic one. Okay, so we're going to need two per, so that's uh, two, four, six times three yep so that's gonna be quite a few of those that's 18 logs here there we go and now we're making them we only made seven though oh cuz we got all the birch planks over here oh well now we have more than enough there we go. Let's clear our inventory of other stuff real quick here. Probably still need some of you. So let's see what else we need here. We need to be able to make the machine frame to start with because then everything else is pretty simple from there. Just requires... Okay. It requires lapis, gold, and iron. So let's get those few components. We have plenty of each to be able to get this done. Be able to make 16 of them, but we won't actually use 16 of them. We only need, let's say, four. Then the rest can just go back to where it came from. There it goes. Let's make a little bit of space in our inventory here. Did I already have some machine frames? No, not yet. Okay, so let's make our basic crafter. There we go. Now let's make our tier 2 crafter. Hmm. We ran out of something. Nope, don't want to use that one. That's why. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so let's make our tier 3. And we're good to go. So, let's put away these torches. It seemed like we made quite a few, but we ended up using them in the end. But we're missing a crafter, tier 3. Thought we made 4. Ah, we were short one. So let's... We can put that in there. Let's make just one more of those. There we go. And we'll just build it right there there it is the torches we needed and now we have the four that we require so let's go downstairs let's attempt to set this up because we're going to have to pipe these into each other let's grab what little item ducks we have left and so what we're going to want to do is we're going to pump them out of there and pretty much into these four crafters. We'll use a servo and some filters. So let's see. We have all these items here. And there's also, we're also going to want to make a trash can 
to send all the items we don't want away. So for that, we're going to require, it's probably going to require a resonant filter. Let's start by making a regular filter. One, two, one, two. I think it requires a single piece of redstone, a piece of glass, or it requires a piece of paper. Can't remember. We'll figure it out. Let's see here. Yep, that was pretty close. Didn't require the redstone. But now to upgrade it, it's just going to require one endarium. Put it in there. Now we have the resonant filter. Very nice. So let's. Oh, we should make the trash can while we're at it. What does it take to make the trash can? Whoops, wrong button. Let's see here. A basic trash can is a chest. It accepts any cobblestone, five cobblestone, and five and three stone. There we go. Now we should have everything we need. Now we have a extra utilities trash can. Now what this does is any items you pump into it will be lost forever. So be very careful when using this and only use it when you know the items that are going to go into it are going to be exactly what you want to go into it. So let's start here by pulling andersite, limestone. These are things I don't really want or I'm, I'm not really going to see a need for. So then we're going to pull all the different types of ice out of there at some point. Granite. So let's start let's start there. So we're going to whitelist those ones. It won't pump out of there until we put a servo in. But as you can see as I shift click these items in there, they straight up just disappear. Oh, so you can put a filter on it already. Eh, we'll use the other type of filter. It'll work just as good. So the next step is we're going to want basic filters on all of these to be able to control what goes in them. Because there's only a few things we're really going to want to keep from this resource miner. And those basic things are, one, two, we need eight, whoops, we need eight, there we go, oh, and, and four pieces of glass we need to make some more glass we're getting low on glass so let's go back to our filters here let's make the basic one yep there we go let's go down and put these in place and we will set the items that we want out of them make sure to whitelist only It'll help control what goes in and what goes out. Then at the servo itself, I won't need to control any items. Let's go in here and basically we're going to want to keep dirt. We're going to want to keep cobblestone, netherrack, sand, maybe even gravel. Hmm. Yeah, I think those will be the basic ones that we'll keep. The rest won't be able to be compressed, so it won't matter. So in the first one, of course, cobblestone whitelist let's see we're gonna whitelist dirt and netherrack and in the third one we're going to whitelist sand and gravel did we whitelist yeah we whitelisted okay so let's test this out let's put our items back in our chest here and then let's put our servo on there we should have one servo left Yep, just a basic servo should do the job. Let's turn it on and watch our items move. There we go. The items are slowly moving out of the chest. And that's okay because it doesn't mine all that fast anyway. As you can see, the items of choice are going to their respective places. Uh-oh, everything else is going over here. So we're going to need to fix that. Pull that off of there. No, we need to blacklist. We need to whitelist stuff. Hmm. 
We had to figure out how to handle those. There we go. Put those back in there. Hopefully it'll help contain it. Let's see here. So we have our dirt and our netherrack. We have our cobblestone. We have our sand and our gravel. So let's start with our cobblestone and we'll make our first recipe. So we want it to make a compressed block of cobblestone. We want to stay internal and then we want to apply that. So it won't make any just yet and then as we get the other pieces we'll make the next and next recipes for them. Now we're going to do the same thing with these two. Grab our first recipe here and go over the whole thing. Hit apply. Dirt's going to be exactly the same. We want it to be internal. And there we go. Now the reason we want it internal is because I want the results to go back here so it can be used for the next recipe and the next recipe to be able to continue to compress it. So now we're going to do these ones here. Internal. There we go. And now the next recipe. There we go. And hit apply. So now we just basically need to get these guys some power, which is pretty easy and straightforward. And we have a basic sorting system for our resource miner. Now, the only hiccup is all these different types of ice. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to figure out how to pump out just the ice. Because there is a lot of ice here. There's so much ice. We don't want the clay. Let's see how fast this fills up. There we go. And it's already pretty much full and we still have multiple types of ice left. This is, this is going to be quite the project, I think, to try to get rid of all this ice. But we'll figure it out. We'll find some way to make it so all the ice can go into there. Hmm. We'll figure it out. So it's going to pull all those ice pieces out of there. We'll take this ice mosaic. I don't think it's in here yet. And we'll put it there. And then we're going to turn it on for a bit and see how full it gets. It should work and pump out items. Should be fairly nice. Similar to the void ore miner over here, it won't go every tick. Not because it's not getting enough power, but just because it's a percentage chance on the items that are pumped out. So, let's go check on our chest over here. And watch it pump items around it as it is needed. So it still has an ice pillar in here. Must be a different type of ice pillar. Ice is going to be rough, I think. We'll figure it out. But it isn't that big of a deal. So, as you can see, things are going well. And we're going to continue to keep experimenting to find the right alternatives to what we want. So, I think that's a good wrapping up point for the episode now that we have the ability to handle all the items going in and going out of the void resource miner. I think we're going to call it right there now that we have a basic setup. So, thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.